Your finances are important, and with so much information out there to know, we want to help. I'm Natasha Lubchenko. Welcome to Money Wisdom, sponsored by Johnson Bernetti. We're educating you about smart ways to manage your money, and joining us is Eric Hogarth, certified financial planner and Johnson Bernetti partner. Hey, Eric, thanks for coming on today. Hi, Natasha. Of course. Great to be here. All right, so it's so important for all of us to stay on top of our financials, and that's why we have this segment. But you say that for women in particular, money is one of the top three stress producers in their lives. Why do you think this is? It's it, it's interesting to me with so many people on this subject, and, and you know, let's let's talk about a couple, and well, this person handles this, and this person handles this, and man or woman, if, or or whatever the relationship is, if you're not the person that handles the finances. Um, that's stressful because you don't have an understanding of what's going on. I'm not saying specific to women or if, or if you're a single person, it's, it can be an overwhelming thing. And it's a, oh, I find that confusing. And I get, and, and Joel critical of a lot of the advice that is out there that is unnecessarily complicated, a 400 page financial plan. Like who reads that? You know, so the focus is to make sure that you have an understanding of, of where you are. And, and where you're trying to get. Do you have a plan? Do you, do you have goals? Um, so it starts just with that first conversation to get an understanding of, of what you're doing and are you doing the right things? Sure, and now let's talk about ways to actually eliminate this stress. First, you say uh, to build an emergency fund. So a lot of people get themselves in trouble with debt. You know, and you hear about there's good debt and there's bad debt. And it's, you know, people, a lot of people have a car loan or a mortgage. Mortgage right now with really low interest rates is not necessarily a bad thing. Are you really itemizing that or just getting the standard deduction that goes deeper into it? But that's not bad debt. Credit card debt is bad debt. Um, student loans you've had a really long time that are paying a high interest rate. I mean, those, those types of loans are designed to make the company who loaned you that money very wealthy. Um, and it, and it can be hard digging out of that. So when we talk about an emergency fund, the reason you need an emergency fund, and a lot of people have a hard time putting money in the bank right now because the bank doesn't pay any interest for the most part, but it provides you with flexibility that if you have an emergency, well, that money's there as opposed to, well, now you've got to charge it and now you've got a debt and now you're digging yourself out of a hole. And it's real hard to think about saving when, when, when you're paying off debt, you know, the other side. Right, always important to have that security. And now this next one, uh, to avoid this stress, as you say, save 10% of income for retirement. I mean, the reality of saving for retirement, so you wanna save as much as you possibly can. Well, super helpful, Eric, you know, maybe a little bit more advice on that is that you wanna save, you know, like your 401k. If you have a 401k, put money into it. Well, I don't really like the investments. I don't care, put money into it because it's automatic and you don't have to remind yourself to do it and then you get a raise, you work some overtime, you increase your contribution, you increase your contribution. Your goal is to be maxing out your 401k at work as, as fast as you can. And, you know, my wife and I, three little kids, um, you know, and, and it's an expensive time of life. So I realize there's a lot of other things going on, but you got to make sure that you're saving because you will need that money, hopefully not until retirement, but you might need it before. So 10% of your income for retirement is a, is a great place to be. If you can save more, even better. But again, a balance of making sure you do have that emergency fund. Because if you're saving for retirement, you don't wanna to touch it until you retire. Right, getting ahead of it is so important. And I know you always say the earlier, the better. So that's a good point. And now this final one here is you say to build a financial plan. We don't need a financial plan. It's only for rich people. That is not true. Everyone needs a plan. You know, you talk about a plan for, you know, our seven-year-old is trying to save up for something. Let's figure out a plan and figure out how we're going to do that. And, and you know, you're probably not saving up for a skateboard, but you might be saving up for a house or a vacation. So it's a balance of, do we have money available for today? Is there money that's growing for later? And not just how much money you have. Is it doing the right thing? Is it invested in the right thing? Um, having a plan um, will reduce stress. We talk about you know, it being a big stressor for women, having a plan, the, the unknown is stressful. And even if you sit down to develop a plan and you're not where you want to be, and that's a hard conversation, at least you know where you are and you can build off that and start getting yourself to where you want to be. So take that first step because you will feel a lot better as a result of it and get yourself involved in these conversations. If it's, well, the other person kind of handles that. What if they die? Or, or more so, what if you're on your own? It's your responsibility to make sure that 
you're in a good place now and, and you're going to be in a good one in the future. Yeah, all important point, uh, all important points. And I know you say that this uh, having a plan is important. How can we learn more about this? I know you have a special offer today. Yeah, it's an article. It's actually a digital download. Uh, it's called the Th three secrets for women to conquer money stress. Um, you're probably not as in bad a position as you think you are. It's it's again that that unknown, the lack of a plan, never having had a conversation. Am I starting too late? Starting, starting. You start at 70 years old. It's better than not starting. You know. So you know. I think the article will be helpful. Um, again, it's three secrets for women to conquer money stress, and it is focused really more on on those types of concerns. Or, 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 you know, as we've sat with single women or wherever the scenario is, people that have expressed to us that we've tried to address um, with various articles like this. So, again, you can get it at moneywisdomtv.com, and I think it would be helpful to read, no matter what phase of life you're in. I love that, and you say it's just important to start, so really this seems like an offer that's good for all ages. Thank you, Eric Hogarth from Johnson Vernetti. And again, if you guys would like to learn more, go to moneywisdomtv.com. For CT Style, I'm Natasha Lubchenko, and we'll see you next week.